In this video, I'm going to talk about adding a subgrid to a form. So you can see we have contacts and open opportunity subgrids, but let's say we want to add an invoice subgrid of an invoice form on the other tab. So we want to have a subgrid on the account that shows all of the invoices on which the account is the customer. So I'm going to close the invoice for now and we're going to customize the account form. I'll click in the area that I want to add the subgrid, go to the ribbon, click insert and subgrid. I'm going to type in the name and the label and choose to display the label or not. Under records we can choose to display all of the invoices or all record types or we can choose only related records. Of course that's what we want to see. Under entity we can choose invoices and you'll notice here in the parentheses it's saying customer. the customer field is the lookup field that we're going to refer to. Lastly it's asking what view we want to use. We'll leave it as my invoices for now, but know that you can edit the view from here or create a new view. Also, you can elect to display the search box, index, or show only the, the view that you selected as the default view, or show all the views, or show selected views. We'll leave it as off for now. So I'm going to set the subgrid. I'm just going to pull it up a little bit higher on the form. Back on the home tab on the subgrid or on the form editor I'm going to click Save and Publish. Going back to the account I'm going to go and create an invoice for a bike store. So I'm going to go to sales. And invoices. Create a new invoice. I'm going to fill in the required fields, but here, under customer, I'm going to put in a bike store. So once I've saved the record, I'm going to navigate back to the bike store or the a bike store account by clicking on the hyperlink. Now you can see the invoice that we just created is showing up in the subgrid that we had added to the form.